Good morning, Falcons. I'm Michael Swiger. I'm Brendan Benwell. And this is your view from the Falcons' nest. Today is Thursday, February 22nd, 2024. There will be a meeting, there will be a chess club meeting this afternoon. Blue and gold are the colors of the day today, and not because Notre Dame is playing. Those are the colors for FFA, which has its national headquarters in Indianapolis and hundreds of chapters in schools such as John Glenn. Tomorrow is Camouflage Day. College Goal Sunday is this Sunday, and this year it, it has a bit more importance than normal. If you're planning on going to college, but you're not sure how the new FAFSA form will affect you, plan on attending at 2 p.m. Sunday at either Plymouth High School or Indiana University of South Bend. The session is free and sponsored by the state. It's Black History Month, and one of the fascinating things about it is uncovering some of the accounts of African Americans who fought for their country while they were overcoming prejudice in their own country. One such story is that of Aaron Fisher of Lyle Station, Indiana. According to the Indianapolis Star, he was one of more than 380,000 African Americans who served in World War I. Fisher was honored with an historical marker in Gibson County, who went from serving in the trenches and being treated for mustard gas exposure in World War I to becoming an officer and serving the military until 1965. His father was a farmer and a Civil War veteran. Fisher himself went on to receive a Purple Heart and Distinguished Service Medal from the United States government, an award for his service from the French government. He attended an all-black high school after losing his mother. During World War I, the military segregated white and African-American units, which still served under most white officers. Mostly African-American soldiers were sent overseas to serve as non-combat troops and perform labor for the army. This included loading and unloading ships at the dock, ship repair, refueling, and working on roads and railways. Wanting a change in these roles, African American leaders pushed for soldiers to be sent into combat. In today's installment of Target 1600, why is the SAT so important to colleges anyhow? The answer is that it serves as a predictor of the number of students who will make it to the year two of their college career. The first year is difficult for some students, but according to the College Board, students with SAT total scores between 800 and 990 had a degree completion rate of 37%. Students with SAT total scores between 1400 and 1600 had a 74% completion rate, twice as high as the rate for students in the lower scoring brand. So considered in another sense, the SAT not only gets you into the college you want to attend, but it gives you the confidence you need to succeed there. It also might give college admissions officers the confidence to provide you with scholarship assistance. And that's today's Target 1600. Now to weather with Caleb. So for weather today, it's going to be rainy. Really, really rainy. But at least the temperature is above freezing at a current temperature of 45. But really, it's going to feel like 36. I knew for the weather, the air quality is moderate. Not good, moderate. I don't know if that's cause for concern or what, but it doesn't matter to me. Moving on to the three day forecast. Today, we're going to have a high of 55, rainy, below 39. Tomorrow, it's going to be a high of 44, cloudy, below 27. And Saturday, it's going to be a high of 34, sunny with a low of 18. That's the main desk for sports. They call it Hoosier Hysteria for a reason in Indiana. Consider the fact that the Glenn Lady Falcons were favored to win a first round game against Bremen in the sectional, but Bremen went on to win the sectional and regional, then won the first game of the semi-state for the first Final Four appearance in basketball in their, in their school history. They lost to Norwell, which may be crowned the Class 3A champion this weekend. Meanwhile, other nearby team, Michigan City, Marquette Catholic, trailed with 10 seconds to go against Clinton Central before a three-pointer vaulted them into the state title game in their class this weekend. The boys' basketball team will close out their regular season tomorrow night on the road at Goshen. They'll be playing at 4A, playing a 4A team with just an 8-12 and 12 record. That ranks them 140th in the state overall. Best of luck to Coach Hanna as the Falcons tune up for a sectional matchup against Culver Academies next week. Now back to lunch with Caleb. So for lunch today, we are going to be having what appears to be breakfast for lunch. Mini Eggo waffles, turkey sausage patty, a hot and spicy chicken sandwich, hash brown rounds, celery sticks, and a variety of fresh fruit. That's all we have for today, Falcons. 
have an amazing day.